The number of international families visiting St. Johns County is growing. That's according to some new research for the Tourist Development Council. Action News Jack's Brittany Donovan shows us what it means for local families, especially when it comes to parking. Downtown St. Augustine is buzzing with families any time of year. Kathy and Dan Geisbers came all the way from Missouri. It's supposed to be the oldest city in the U.S. Yeah. That's what all the literature says, so we just wanted to see it. A new report shows families are coming from all over the U.S. to see the ancient city. And from July to September, 13% of visitors were international, a big takeaway for the Tourist Council. Uh, that's exciting because it wasn't so many years ago uh, where that figure was uh, closer to 2%. The international visitor tends to stay longer and because they're staying longer, they spend more money. The fort here in St. Augustine is a huge draw. Even on a cloudy Monday, we've seen a stream of families headed to check it out. But surprisingly, from this research we found out, the historic sites like this one aren't the biggest draw to St. Augustine. Families said the number one reason they visited was a special event, followed by the beach and historical sites. Historic sites, um, the fort, we're from Puerto Rico, so we wanted to see the differences. The average income of visitors is also growing. It was 93000 for day and overnight visitors, up from 70000 a few years ago. The average group spends $480 a day while on vacation here, a total of 2700 on the trip. The one concern family shared, parking. The folks at the Tourist Council tell me the city is incentivizing developers to add new spots so visitors like the Geisbers can focus on enjoying the city. Go drink from the Fountain of Youth before we go home. <laughs> go home younger than we were. Reporting in St. John's County, Brittany Donovan, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Shacks.